Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from the lunchbox and every kind of sandwich from 1951, we're going to be making the Frankfurter and chili sauce sandwich. Mm. This is going to be one of those recipes that you're going to ask yourself, why did they bother to write this down? Because to ground Frankfurter, we add chili sauce. Does it say how much? It does not. But I figure a fair amount, given that it's in the title. And prepared horseradish. Does it say how much? It does not. Ha <laughs> ha, good times. Give that a mixy mix. And put that onto buttered bread. Okay, let's give this frankfurter and chili sauce sandwich a go. It's not bad. Um, chili sauce, of course, it has no chilies in it. It just has seasoning. Horseradish is bringing a little bit of a kick, which is nice. I think I do want to plus this up, though. I'm going to add some Swiss cheese and then toast it. Okay, let's give this frankfurter and chili sauce sandwich plus up a little Swiss cheese and toasted a go. That's a solid move right there. Nice gooey cheese, nice crunchy toast. The uh, Frankfurters heated up. Chili sauce and uh, horseradish are blending nicely. And the nuttiness of the Swiss cheese is going really well with the Frankfurter. I gotta say, the original Frankfurter and chili sauce sandwich wasn't bad. I'll give it a five and a half. Um, plussed up with a little Swiss cheese and toasted so the cheese got melty and you got a little crunchiness going. That's like a seven. That is actually really tasty. I am definitely gonna finish that. And I would make this again, the plussed up version, any day. Uh, don't know if I'd make the regular version though. All right, see you tomorrow.